forward. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. So the D-line's going to spread out. The final shot before half for Brady. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good right, about go. what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. The one running back is Gurley. He's going to get the football. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Now that second down run, a big health. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. And the offense moving quickly to the line. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And Gurley here fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. But it looked like a Rams player was able to get his hands on it. Yes, so they will hold on to the football indeed. They go play action here on first down. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> in recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. First down and goal. The offense knocking on the door. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Todd Gurley taking it in from four yards out. And the Rams have taken the lead. And they will line oh, up now for the two-point try. Back nine and nine, Philly. Here we go. Nine. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll get into the end zone. That gives his guys an eight-point lead. They get the conversion. And Charles, when you only have two yards to go, what do you think of the toss play? Because initially it kind of sets you back a little bit. It does, especially if you get a lot of pressure coming towards you. But if you can get to the edge, if you seal the edge with your blocking, often your tackle or your tight end on what they call the play side where the ball goes, you can get to the corner, and that allows those big guys to get out ahead of the runner. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. 
try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 6. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Throwing on first down is Brady. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. All right, different topic here. 2018, the Super Bowl traveling north, far north to Minneapolis. Early, early, early predictions for that one. Who you got? Well, you know, everyone's still waiting in the NFL for a home team to play in its yeah. home stadium, right? So could the Vikings be that team? I'll start in the NFC, and I'm going to say no. I think Seattle. Starting to get near that maybe last run with their defense. Earl Thomas returns. I like Seattle coming out of the NFC. How about you? Well, I'm actually going to take a Dallas Cowboys NFC title run. I think that they came so close this year, probably most talented going into next year. I like that one. Well, in the AFC, I'm going to go with a team that if they improve their defense and their quarterback stays healthy, they could be that team, the Oakland Raiders. Okay. I'm going dark horse. Cleveland Browns. Uh, let's like go. Hey, from worst to, to first. first. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. A reverse is never called just to get one or two yards. It's often called to get a big, big play. The defense was having none of it on that one. They sniffed it out and stuffed it. They do go for it. It's Brady, and Gronkowski's got it. Complete over the middle. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And now a timeout's going to be called here. I think it was by the defense. It was. And that's going to leave him with just one remaining here in this second half. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Throws right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Let's go! They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. It'll be a gain of six, and that's going to lead to a third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. It's a gain of four, and it gets him the first. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They went full scale, loose, flexible, finding a way to catch the ball in some traffic for a key first down. Yeah, really a nice job of adjusting to the ball in the air. Not the most accurate of throws, but able to adjust and make the grab. It's a loss of two there, bringing up seven. Second down. That play almost seemed like a baseball play. See ball, hit ball. But in this case, see guy with ball, tackle guy with ball. That's complete. It's Brian Quick. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. A really nice little connection there. They go with the corner route, and it works out well. And the best way to set up the corner route is to throw slants throughout the ball game so that when you're able to get back outside, no, 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 no. the Jack defender Patrick, has to respect Patrick. the inside game. Here's Cunningham. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL, and a lot of that is the speed at the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, right, 
They were safeties. They moved him up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses, and now we're seeing it in the NFL. Those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield, similar to that one. A nice gain of 21 yards. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They go with Cunningham. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. Right, he's able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. He'll buy some time right. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. I think we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. That one intended for Benny Cunningham. That'll bring up second down. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. Long drive, the defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Back to the here we go, here we go now. Three, 19. Second and 10, golf again. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Bradley Marquez from 17 yards out. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. So they're going to go for two. Goff looking to throw. That's caught at the one. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Back now in Foxborough. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. They slide Gronkowski outright. On first down, Brady. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Love the call by the offensive coordinator, recognizing the situation very well, calling for the play-action pass and completing it. Brady now on first down. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Brady gives now to Blunt. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. 20. 20. Throwing is Brady on third down. And that is incomplete. The new acquisition, Martellus Bennett, the intended target. And that'll bring up a fourth down. I wouldn't be shocked at all right now if there's a look of surprise on the big fella's face because he had the route that he wanted, running the corner, and usually he's able to use his body and catch the football, but a really nice play by the defenders, able to knock it away. Here's Brady to throw, and that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it, and the Rams are going to 
take possession of the turnover on downs. And the Rams getting set to go.